Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we are doing our July favorites and unfavorites. So this is going to be short because I'm not going to lie to you, I have not been wearing a lot of product on my face this summer so far because it's been unseasonably warm here in St. John's. So this is going to be quick, it's going to be to the point, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, first up for me is a foundation. I've been testing out the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. As you guys may or may not know, it's been taking over the internet. Um, Benefit released a BB cream with SPF essentially. It's technically marketed as a foundation, but it's a BB cream slash super light to medium coverage foundation that is slightly buildable. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I haven't purchased the full size. I keep getting samples from Sephora because right now I'm in between shades and I don't want to spend 38 bucks each on two bottles to get my perfect shade. So I'm waiting for my little bit of color that I have in my skin to go away so I can be back to my lightest shade in the foundation range and I'll probably end up picking up the full size. So I've been loving that. It's been great. And one of my favorite things um, next up on the list is a nail product. I have been loving the new formulation of the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polishes. These bad boys here, um, they have a super thick brush, which I really like. Like, I mean, it's really thick, so you only end up applying like one to two, like, strips on your nail to completely fill in your nail. This is one coat, and I put it on seven days ago, and it hasn't chipped. My nails are growing out, but it hasn't chipped, and it is instantly drying. Like, it takes 45, 50 seconds and it's dry. So I have three or four of those. I have a baby pink, I have a burgundy, and I have the white, which I've been thoroughly enjoying. And I've been painting my nails a lot whilst home, so that's that's been a win. Um, and this is new to me, but I love Bites formula, so I want to just put these in here. This is the birthday gift from Sephora. Mom got it, she didn't like it. I'm wearing the pencil on my lips today in the shade Glacé. And the birthday gift also comes with a lipstick called Chai, which is a nude lipstick. I have the previous birthday gift I think they had out. Maybe it was a birthday gift. Maybe it was a 100 point birthday. I don't remember. I don't have it here in front of me. But there was like a licorice. I love Bite Beauty's lipsticks. That's the bottom line. They're super gentle on the lips, but they stay on your lips all day long. And in that kit as well, there's the Agave lip mask and lip scrub in here as well. So you get a nice variety of things for a birthday gift at Sephora. So ding, ding, ding. Speaking of lip products, I've been loving the Laneige Sleeping Mask for your lips. I keep talking about it because it's really good. I'm going to get a full size. It's been really helping my lips with the whole sunburnt situation they've been experiencing. Um, and then one more beauty product I've been enjoying is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. This is literally a powder foundation that I used to use to set my liquid foundation, but since it's been so warm and sticky here, I've just been throwing that on to eliminate some of the redness on my face, and I've been loving how it stays on my skin. It works really well. It's 10 out of 10 recommend. Now on to the whole hair care, body care thing. I've been showering a lot more because I've been sweating a lot more and my head feels gross every day. So I end up been washing my hair a lot, which I'm mad at myself for because I was doing so good at not doing it. But I've been loving, since I'm washing my hair pretty much daily, our shampoo bars from Lush. This is solid shampoo. And this one is called Jason and the Argan Oil. For two reasons I love this stuff. This is a solid, so it came with no packaging. I just had an extra Lush soap tin, so I popped it in there and it fit perfectly. Um, and two, it's not as harsh. It has no chemicals in it that are stripping or damaging to your hair. So it's quite nourishing, quite lovely. They're supposed to last up to 90 washes, so I've got like three months of shampoo in that little bar versus a month in you know, a full shampoo conditioner set. And I've just been using um, any random conditioner samples I had kicking around just to get rid of them when I use shampoo bars. I also have Honey I Washed My Hair, which I really like as well. And then sticking with the Lush theme, I have a shower gel I really like. This is called Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. Freshen up with this tingly minty gel to keep you cool in, this, in a steamy shower. Um, it basically is, it smells like mint. It reminds me I want to say, is it Axe? Is that the thing? Or Old Spice or something? Like, one, a man's body wash. It's Michael's hair, so he's going to tell us right now. It's got a real Old Spice feel to it. Old Spice? That's what I thought. Yeah, but it's it smells like that in the bottle. And it smells like that when you, like, when it hits the steam in the shower. But then it doesn't linger on your body. Like, you just feel really cool and refreshed after. And that's definitely the mint in there. So, if you haven't tried a Lush shower gel, I totally recommend checking that one out. Smells good. You like it? Yeah. Um, and you can take some home and try it if you want. That's all right. <laughs> you know men use Lush too. You know, I use ivory. Just soap, that's it. 
Um, I lost my train of thought that time because of you. Oh, excuse me. Outside of that, that's pretty much it for the products I've been using this month. Like, honestly, guys, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I've been trying to clear my skin up, and I also have been just avoiding putting makeup on because it's clogging my pores with all the sweat and humidity. So it's been pretty simple for me um, this month. I will say Costco has their winter stuff out already for, like, slippers and boots and stuff. So I picked up slippers, which I've been wearing. Um, they're super hard sold. They're 28 bucks. They remind me of Ugg slippers and they're like one tenth of the price. So if you need slippers, Costco and St. John's has them now. They've had them for a couple of weeks and they're super duper duper comfy. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment telling me what you've been loving for the month of July and how you deal with the humidity. I don't mind the heat. I don't like the humidity. It makes things far more uncomfortable than they need to be. Um, so give this video a thumbs up, like I said. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you all in my next one. Love you guys. Bye!